Seek first to understand, creativity, ideas before results, teamwork, together everyone achieves more, trust starts with honesty, equity, opportunities for all, and success results through people. Is this the first time you guys are saying this? No, no. right? No, it's like <laughs> the dance moves are new, yes. The dance moves are new, but as far as our beliefs, I really believe that we believe these things, Yeah. and we show up like this every single day. And that's one of the things I love about KW. I've been here for almost nine years and I love our MBBDD. So for what it's worth, I like it. <laughs> All right, so for your 2024 vendors, vendors in the room, I've got awful vision. So do I have any vendors in this room? Where yeah, Hi. there she is. Hi, I'm Christina Ferrante with La Branch Home Loans, your lending lady for life. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Any other vendors in the room? Any vendors online? She wins the award. She does win the award. She's going to win the award. That's fantastic. So another thank you. We are in the process of Bold. We are one more week away before we conclude Bold. And we want to say thank you to our sponsors for Bold this week. We had Cutco, Skinner Roofing, LLC, and Brian Stone with Sign Rover. Yeah. Want so, to say a little something about that? Yeah. So uh, we are officially launched now. And the Bold group heard everything about it. We got some flyers in front of you now. We are a full service sign running service so we do sign installation removal storage we store and clean your signs and everything too so um and if you don't have your own custom branded signs we got a fantastic sign deal to get you started if you want to do that i'm not in the print business i'm in the sign running business but we want to make it easier for you to brand yourself and all of our signs by the way are luxury l frame 72 inch tall signs they look fantastic they're bigger than me <laughs> they're, yeah they're, they're bigger than me so um, if you guys have any questions let me know Thank you guys. Yeah, awesome. Super cool. I love seeing our agents thrive. I love seeing them open new businesses and have multiple streams of income, which reminds me, y'all should be coming to Wealth Building on uh, Fridays at night, right? Good stuff. Okay, so Vendy, uh, who won last week? Christina, do you know? Cindy. Cindy, do, do we know if she recommended anybody? She did okay. not because she wasn't sure who was going to be there. So I believe that Christina wins by default. <laughs> by default? <laughs> this is literally a participation trophy. No, 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 no. Uh, but we know how, how amazing you are. And thank you for bringing the wonderful drinks during our Chiefs kickoff party. So thank you for that. So thanks for being amazing and being there for us. Excellent. Jim, you had your hand up. Oh, I was, I was just saying that I think she should win by acclamation. That's right. I think you're right. I think we just did that. So fantastic. All right. So Task Fry last week won our Stephas uh, award. And let me get up what she has written about one of our agents. Okay. So she said, I nominate this person to be the next Stephas award winner. If you don't know her, you will, you should find her and friend her immediately. Not only is she a great real estate agent and resource in the business, but on a personal level, she is fierce. I look up to her in a positive, as a positive influence and mentor in her character, excuse me, my, 
character and the way she carries herself. Lisa Walker. Woohoo! Anybody at all? Have her phone number? Nicole? No. Four one seven eight one eight one six six three. All right, Lisa Walker, give her a congrats text. You guys can see that. All right. Got it. All right, you got it. We good? Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. I didn't know. All right, onward. We got onward agent services. Tell me something good, ladies. Hello, everybody. Haley and Katya. Hello. So we have new um, promos for fall. Right now, I put flyers out and around. But if you have any more questions, you can feel free to contact me by emailing me. It's on the bottom of the sheet. It's marketing at onwardagentservices.com. Or I am at the front desk on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So feel free to talk to me. But we've got some cool packages. We have a, um, a two new ones, which is the listing package and the open house package. And it's just some bundles to help with marketing new listings or open houses. So if you have any questions, let me know. Fantastic. And Haley? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Question. Raise your hand if you filled out that team meeting survey. Raise it loud and proud if you did. For those of you who did not do it, please do it because your voice matters. And we want to make sure that if you've got an opinion about team meeting, the time, the day, all of that kind of stuff, we take that into consideration when we make those changes. Okay, so please fill it out. There is this scan code right there. And then Nicole, is it also somewhere else they can find it? Um, it got texted out last week and then I just put it in the chat. I can add it to Facebook today. Fantastic. All right, so sounds like no excuses. We should get it done then, yes? Love that commitment from you. All right, so broker moment. <laughs> Woohoo! Moment. Come on up here, friend. Well, I know I do that because you're going to have to be firm today. Uh oh. All right. So you see this list of three pages? Come on. Those are Jim's people. 70th birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. I wish everybody would renew. Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my god! I'm actually having that for my birthday dinner, so I'll just get this a bit appetizer. Right. So back to this. I have three pages of people who haven't renewed. Back to this. I have three pages of people that haven't renewed. Let me see that for a second. If you have agents in my referral group, I have about three pages that haven't renewed. Here's a point, guys. I mean, first of all, and I'm just, I'm not being mean. You should be professionals, correct? Yeah. Part of the process of being a professional is taking care of your professional responsibilities, which is your continuing education. Yeah. I mean, the continuing education, everybody thinks about it's a hassle, it's a hassle. You got to do code of ethics. That's not a hassle. You got to do fair housing. That's not a hassle. Either one of those, one will get your license, the other one will get you fine. Mm. So, you know, again, it's professional responsibility. Now, let me tell you what happens on October 1st. You cannot have a sign on a property with, that you've listed. It has to disappear that day legally. You cannot have a conversation with the seller that you have a sign on the property on October 1st if you haven't renewed. You can't talk to them because you'll be talking about real estate and the MREC will find you. And they'll take your license once you renew it. You cannot talk to a buyer about real estate. You cannot do a CMA for somebody on real estate. You cannot do an open house. You can't, you can't provide any service that's real estate related unless it be a ministerial act. Good luck with that. Now, 
I mean, we go through this every time. I mean, this is 12 years for me here and 30 all total where people forget to renew or for whatever reason. I will do this for you. My wife's not listening. I will pay the $45 for the CE. If you need the $45, you come see me, I will cut you a check. I don't care. I don't care if it's 100. Obviously, I want you to pay me back. But I will pay for it. If you're short 45 bucks right now, you just come see me, I will get it for you. All right? And if you need help with answers on the CE, Don, <laughs> just call him, text him. He'll have an answer for you. Any questions? It's, I mean, don't you think that's a little embarrassing? We have more people that haven't renewed than most companies have agents. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. I mean, this would be the third largest company in Springfield right here. <laughs> if all those people were somewhere else. So, uh, <laughs> I just, I, I want, I want you all to renew. I want to be happy for you, but I guarantee you, if you practice real estate and you haven't renewed, you'll get caught. The MREC catches you. Last year, there was a mix up on my licenses and they sent me a letter 30 days later, no, 60 days later and said, we want to know every activity that you did that was real estate related between the renewal date of June 30th and this is like September, so longer than that, 90 days. I'm like, what? I renewed? I know I renewed. I mean, we had copies of everything, thank God. And they, it was just a mix-up. But you imagine? That means every designated agency I'd signed, every listing contract I'd signed, would now be invalid, basically. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? So... <laughs> He's going to take his meatballs, and he's going to leave. <laughs> the only other thing I've got, and it's I've encountered it a lot, and I think that we're all on a learning curve, you've got to eliminate the word commission from your vocabulary. It must be compensation. We're going to get bit with that if you keep saying commission. So anytime you hear that, don't be afraid to correct the other person, too. Hey, we can't say that. We're in violation if we say commission now. It's compensation. Okay. That was my only two cents for today. Very valuable information. I mean, they did bring the room down a little bit from the party we were having, uh, but it's very serious stuff, friends. Very serious. All right, so how's the market? How do you guys feel? Good market? Bad market? Okay market? Great market. Thank you. Thank you. That was the answer I was looking for. All right, so if we look at last week, we had 15 uh, homes that went pending in one day or less. We popped up to 20, or 19 here. Mike did put that 11 of those were a new lake development, uh, new condo development. So if we look to last year, um, we were at 24 and 19. So we're kind of trending about the same as last year. Uh, when we look at these bigger numbers, we are currently at over 2,000, almost 2,100 listings active on the market. What? Oh my gosh, that's a lot, yeah? No more are the days of two or 300 listings, okay? We have arrived. We are really approaching more of that balance, right? Where we have inventory to show our buyers. It's a great time to buy. It's a great time to sell. Um, there's, there's a lot of concessions. I don't know, incentives being made. Uh, a great time to negotiate for both sides, yeah? Awesome. Anybody else excited about that? I am. Ooh, how about this slide? This one's super cool. All right, yeah, so profit share. Awesome. Year to date, we have given back 33914 to our agents in this office. Woo! We're at almost $275,000 given back because y'all got big mouths. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I love that. TCPA, don't call people you're not supposed to. Yes, sir. I was just going to say on the uh, inventory issue, the Fed's meeting today on the rates, don't expect anything magical to happen because some of the changes have already been baked in, right, Christy? For the past two months, our rates have reflected what yeah. is going to happen today, so, and most banks are going to be that way. So, no, nothing magical is happening. Even if they do a half basis point, I don't, I don't think you're going to see anything like some stupid drop. I think it's going to be the same. So you've just got to convince your buyers that, you know, this is the best rate we've had since... 23. Yeah. When did they go up, Christina? When did they, they leave the threes? 
23? I want to die. Uh, <laughs> that was at the beginning of history. 20, 2022, actually. The 2022 is whenever. No, at the beginning of 2023 is whenever it started a trend. We thought it was going to be gradual, and it was within the course of like two months we were in the fives. Yeah. And and we're not in the eights, friends. We're, we're, uh, we had somebody quoted at 575 the other day, right? Just depends on, on your buyer and their, their qualifications, that to come, all that good stuff. But we, we are in a really, really solid spot, in my opinion. And if you don't have that confidence, just borrow mine. I got plenty of it. So again, back to this TCPA, don't call people you're not supposed to. Don't shame us. Um, all right, Nicole, tell me something. Well, I'm just reiterating this because I did want to tag on to what Jim and Don had specified about renewing. If you do not... Answer. Okay. Um, if you don't renew by September 30th, then you will have to retake your 24 hour course and pay $50 for every month it takes you to renew. And that's up to $200. After that, then your license is gone forever. Oh, okay. I said to say it nicer. That wasn't nicer. That it was up. a little sweeter, but seriously, the inflection you, went up. You. <laughs> You have been getting emails, you have been getting calls, you have been getting text messages. If you haven't done this, most of you in the room have probably already done it. But if you haven't, please get your CE done this week. It is taking 48 hours to show on the site. You cannot renew online after, like, until that shows up. If you never got a license or a PIN number in the mail, then that's the only way that you can renew is online. And tell me where you can go and find, where they can go and find uh, how many hours they have. Yeah. Um, it on the MREC website, if you just Google Missouri Real Estate Commission, there is a button right up below that that says licensee search, and you can search by your last name and you can see all your hours. So don't call Nicole and say, hey, how many hours am I showing? Go ahead and, and be proactive and do it yourself. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, guess what? Continuing that again. Um, if you still haven't signed up and done it, I'm not going to call you out, but I'm calling you out a little bit. Do this. I do this every year. It's through CE Chief. There's a code here, KW 1024, that'll uh, make it cheaper for you. Get it done. Okay. I have one on meth this year. I do meth every year. That's fun. It's my fave. I love it. I don't actually do meth, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have all my teeth. So, okay. Realtor Weekly, we get these guys on the weekends. So I'm just going to kind of go through here. For YPN, there's a happy hour today from four to five at Tie and Timber. Um, Christina, are you at that? I am not going to that. I'm going to be in my pool. So if you don't want to come to the happy hour, come over to my house and hang out in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, this Thursday, annual meeting for GSBOR, September 19th. So that's tomorrow. GSBOR is going to hook you up all week, guys. That's fantastic. And then on October 16th, celebrating women at Old Glass Place. Again, you get these in your email every Sunday. Take a peek. There's really good information in there. All right, so here we are today. If you missed uh, Elise Riley's realtor safety class, it was awesome. Um, always, she brings such great value and humor and it's unmatched. It will be recorded and loaded up on our YouTube page later on. So you'll get to check it out there. Um, next time she hosts one, you should come. It's, it's amazing. All right, coming in October, we've got James Shaw. Anybody already signed up for this? Adam, why'd you sign up so quickly? He's a rock star. I don't know if you guys ever watch him in the morning, but he's phenomenal. On the pivot shift. Yeah. yeah. He, he started that back when COVID happened and you got to shift with the times and you got to make a pivot and he is fantastic. So he is coming on October 3rd. We have not decided on the location yet, but if you want to be a part of this, which I'm telling you, you want to be a part of this, you got to get signed up quickly because it is getting broadcasted out to other places. Other people can come. So get your seat while it's still here. I think we only have 200 spots. Yeah, yeah, the spots are shrinking drastically. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, oh, there's a video, a video. Let's see what it says. This is the guy. Hey, it's James Shaw, founder of Pivot Shift Ahead and KWU Master Faculty. Thanks so much for taking a second to watch this. You know, the market right now is different. This year, last year, about 4 million transactions. That's down 2 million units from just a couple of years ago. There's definitely less opportunity, but it doesn't mean your opportunity is less. It's about you taking advantage of the opportunities in today's market. And that's why we're bringing RISE to you. It stands for Real Estate Inspiration, Strategy, and Execution. So many agents are addicted to information and allergic to implementation. And we're trying to change that. We wanna give you specific strategies and show you how to implement in the four key areas that are getting agents tripped up right now. 
First, mindset, yours and your clients. How do we get our mindset right about the opportunity in the market? Number two, it's lead generation strategies and activities. What specific plays can you one run right now to get the best results? We'll give you actual examples and step-by-step -step, uh, strategies to go implement so you can reach your goals. And then we'll talk about the market itself. Like, do we truly understand how to explain today's market to a consumer so that they understand their opportunity within it. I know interest rates are higher and different things are happening, but if they see the big picture, would they take action? Well, we've got to become that economist of choice for them. So we'll walk through how to do that. And then finally, next, how to manage the money. So many of you have less money coming in and maybe more going out. How do we balance that out so we can take advantage of the financial opportunity right now? So I hope you'll join us for Rise. It really is a different, program, something you've never been to before, where you'll walk out with, look, tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up and run this play and do that so that I can get this result. That's what it's all about. So I hope to see you there. Awesome. Nicole, where can they sign up for that? I just posted the link in the chat, but then it's also on the Facebook page in the featured section. It's on our calendar. It's kind of everywhere. I did also send a text out yesterday afternoon. Fantastic. All right. Good stuff there. Um, and finally, business planning clinic. Jen Davis is absolutely one of my favorite humans on the planet. And we are so blessed to have her right here in this market center. And she is even bringing in an executive uh, maps coach as well to come and, and do business planning clinic. When I first took the role as the productivity coach here, I had several people say this was the one event that they look forward to all year because it really it's actionable. You, you get in there, you dissect your business, and then you come out with a plan. Isn't it easier to get where you're going if you have a plan? Yeah, absolutely. So sign up now before the spots fill up because this one will get get uh, filled up as well because there's only so many seats. I'm not sure how many, but there's only so many. 9.30 to 4, October 9th. Put it on your calendar right now. All right. I have a special guest, Miss Venice Knight. Will you come on up? Woo! So let's hear what Venice has to say. Um, Mike told me I had five minutes, but I think he meant 10. He means as much time as you want. We're here to listen. <laughs> Who can say anything about accountability in five minutes? So what I know is um, that if I told you that we were going to have a class tomorrow on accountability, every one of you would be there. And you would be sitting in there and you'd be ready and you'd be getting out your calendars and you'd be put, asking me what time and that wouldn't happen, would it? No. But what I know for sure, because statistics tell me this, and not just Keller Williams statistics, because I went online to research this and see if it was any different, is that if I said I'm having a class tomorrow on accountability, and those of you who thought, hmm, I might need to go to that, or maybe I'll put that on my calendar, then you would have a 20% more likelihood that you would actually show up. And then tomorrow at class, for those of you who actually had got your calendar out and had wrote it down and had spent some time thinking about maybe what your goals or what you wanted to be held accountable for were, then that goes up to 60% more likely that you would achieve those goals. And then for those of you who actually came to class listen to what I had to say about accountability, and then actually said, you know what, I think I need someone to hold me accountable. That goes up to 65% more likely that you would achieve those goals. And this is the real kicker. If you actually found someone and you said, will you please hold me accountable for the goals that I've set? And this is what they are. And will you check in with me? And when you will you help me think about think this through? Then that goes up to 90%. Those are amazing odds in your favor, right? So why do we not want to be accountable? What is it about accountability that people say, I don't want to be accountable for anything. I'm going to be me. I'm going to do me. I'm going to just go through life and whatever happens, happens. Well, at Keller Williams, we teach you that we want you to have a life by design, not a life by default. And without accountability, your life is a life of default. 
It really is. And I'll tell you for me personally, because all we can really share is what we know and what we've learned, right? And so what I've learned about accountability after being a coach, I was a coach for seven years and people would run when they saw me coming a lot of times when they knew I was their coach. And I automatically knew when they ran, when they saw me coming, it's because they didn't want to be held accountable for something that they were doing. You're probably, you probably get that too. Don't you Shanna? Yeah. But we have to be accountable. And what I, what I learned about accountability is that if I wanted change to take place in my life, I had to be accountable. That's the whole reason I joined the ALC this past year is because I wanted that accountability from other like-minded people to change the future of my career and to take me even to the next level. And that accountability was there. You know, Adam started this thing on the ALC where we have to show our P&Ls. So we have to actually get our P&Ls out and show them. Now that's accountability, right? Because we've set these goals in the very beginning and now all of a sudden we have to actually show what are we doing? How are we actually holding ourselves accountable? I re recently read this book called The Ted Effect. Has anybody heard of that book? It's great because one thing I find when we don't want accountability, it's usually when we're in a victim mindset, okay? It's excuses, it's reasons why we can't be held accountable or reasons why things didn't turn out the way we wanted to. And what I learned from this TED book was that if I really want change to take place in my life, I have to be accountable to be a creator in my own life. Mm. Okay, so I can either be a victim or I can be a creator. And if I'm going to be a creator, then I got to find someone who is willing to hold me accountable for the things that I say I really want. And then we'll see. We'll see if you really want those things. Because if you do, then you're going to seek out accountability. And I'm just going to leave you with this. These are the five C's of accountability. Is that my five minute gong? <laughs> Okay, the five C's of accountability are common purpose, clear expectations. These are the things that you would want that accountability partner or coach to hold you accountable to. Communication and alignment. This is huge. This takes away a lot of excuses. Coaching and collaboration. And last of all, consequences and results. That's what accountability is to me. So maybe think about what is accountability to you? And accountability should be, is, I believe, the breakfast of champions. It's what you should be thinking about when you get up first thing in the morning. What am I accountable for today? And what am I going to do to meet the goals and the standards that I have for my life? Not someone else's life that I've set for my life. And how is this going to move me forward? It's accountability. Yeah, um, I heard a long time ago that, and it stuck with me, is that uh, talent thrives in an accountability setting. Mm -hmm. So if you're shying away from it, I think you need to remember your talent. And so you need to lean into it. Um, the, thank you, Venice. That was fantastic. It, it is the breakfast of champions. Um, and for me, I think accountability and integrity go hand in hand, right? Because what am I doing when nobody else is watching, right? That's integrity to me. And how am I showing up? And if I promise somebody to hold them accountable or that they're going to hold me accountable, then I got to be honest with myself first, right? So fantastic. Um, oh, <laughs> title. <laughs> that was it. All right. Any ahas? I, I, I love to hear. What did you hear today? Give me, give me two, and then I can sleep well tonight. Yes, sir. Accountability is uncomfortable. Yes, it is. That's why most people run from it. They just don't want to be held accountable. Yeah. I think the if you're really new and you're struggling at all, if you're not in the coaching program, you've made a big mistake. It's a good chance you're going to get out in under 18 months. You'll leave the business. It's Because it is a real struggle when you first get in. So to have a productivity coach on site, it's got such a record of strong performance. Yeah. I think it's, a, it's an awesome group. It really is. And, and that's like people need that, right? People need to, to feel a part of something 
and y'all are a part of something, but it's just, you know, a little bit smaller something. So, yeah, you got another no, one? I'm just last thing is you don't make them uncomfortable enough. Probably not. <laughs> I think I need to push a little harder. Come down to my office. Well, now Erica can be my defense on that because she's heard me give it to somebody just recently. So it's totally fine. She, did. she was like, whoo! <laughs> Anywho. All right. Thank you so much. Go take the day. Do something great. You all are stars. You guys are all talent. Go do the thing. And then, you know, take your license and renew. Come on, friend. All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.